Welcome back to Nerdum and J&J. James Sharmack here with another Godzilla figure. So, why did I pull out this plastic walking garbage fire for you? Because Playmates has actually gone back, more or less, I guess, from scratch, and made a brand new Shin Godzilla figure. Hopefully it's better than this one, so let's take a look at it. We'll take a look at the box, and we'll just do a flat-out comparison and see if they actually made a better Shin Godzilla, or it's about the same. Let's see how it goes. So Playmates has two lines basically of the figures. It has the, the uh, Monsterverse series and the Toho series. So we're lucky the design is reflective of the Toho series. Obviously Godzilla 2016 on the bottom of the Asian Godzilla. Has a picture of, uh, the, of the Hesse Godzilla in the back. The Godzilla on the bottom there. Uh, and you have a picture of the figure right there. It looks a little bit better. We'll take them out and see. It has a little text about the uh, Godzilla Legend on the top there. Back to the side, another uh, picture of uh, the Shin Godzilla there. Back to the front. So let's take him out of the, the package. Let's take a look at the figure, compare him with the other figure, and see if it's an improvement or, like I said, basically just more of the same. All right, so we have Shin Godzilla out of the package, looking very much improved upon from the first version. Uh, paint apps look a little bit, little bit better. Uh, you know, that's more of a, like a wash, but. At least, you know, the dorsal fins alone look better. The uh, scars from his transformation look better. Uh, obviously, with the reds going on, I wish they would have, you know, painted some of the tail, but it is what it is, right? Uh, they, you know, have nice, uh, they painted the claws. Sometimes they don't. That looks pretty cool. They didn't paint the hand claws, but it is what it is. The head itself does not look like the complete disaster like the other one did, but we'll, you know, like I said, we'll compare the two later on. So it's got a nice body mold, nice uh, sculpt. Doesn't, you know, it, you know, it, it kind of resembles the movie. We'll probably compare it with the NECA figure later on too, but I just want to see if more of this was uh, improved upon. Like they probably listened to what you know reviewers like me said. And, you know, as I bashed that other figure, but, you know, like I said, you know, I dig it. You know, it's like a $13 figure. So, you know, you get what you pay for. Uh, let's talk articulation because there's kind of a giant elephant in the room that I need to talk about. Okay, so when I was putting this figure together, I didn't do like, you know, that guy always says and just, you know, he put the uh, tail in like some hot water to make it easier. I just try to put it on straight on and just... It broke the joint, so I had a super glue on it. So it doesn't. It, this figure alone won't have the tail articulation it's supposed to. But what are you going to do, right? Anyways, the other articulation it has it's like a nice head swivel. I wish it had a jaw movement, but it doesn't. The little hands move up and down, as they, they should, because they're kind of useless otherwise. Uh, they go back and forth, and you have angle pivoting. Not too much. No, it's it's like you know. It's almost like a Bandai figure, but I think it's supposed to be, right? So, you know, not too much. I guess I do wish I didn't screw up. I wish I probably, you know, soaked that tail in some hot water and so I didn't break it. See, I want to see how the tail would look. But it is what it is, right? So, that's articulation for you guys. Well, all things considered, this isn't a bad figure sculpt. Like, you know, I think the tail looks pretty solid. Especially, you know, on the end of it, uh, like, you know, some nice effects here on the legs and, you know, a lot of work on the dorsal fins, but that freaking head just drives me bonkers. And, and, uh, it's not a bad sculpt. There's a little, there's a little more sculpt into this than there is into this, but, you know, this, this tail is kind of boring, uh, but... Ooh, just that face drives me nuts. Otherwise, you know, I, you know, I don't want to say this is better. Just the, the the figure in general is, you know, there's a little bit more detail to it, comparative wise. Just that, like I said, that head just drives me nuts. That's, I think that's a better head. But I know. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And here, we, of course, we pulled out the NECA Shin Godzilla figure, and there is no comparison, obviously. I mean, 
okay, the, the figure is probably, you know, 10 bucks more than the Playmates, but, you know, anytime I can pull out a NECA, NECA figure put in a video, you know, it's, it makes me smile. It's always a good comparison to see, you know, quality versus quality, right? So, uh, and, you know, I'm always, I'm still a little bit bummed out that NECA d wasn't allowed to have the license, but it is what it is. So for a $13 figure, you can do a lot worse, obviously. And, you know, obviously they have done a lot worse, right? So, uh, you know, I, you know, I would like maybe the body sculpt a little, you know, a little bit better. A little, you know, detail a little bit better just because, you know, the other Shin Godzilla that they've done has, you know, a better body sculpt to it, better body details on it. But, you know, whatever you want, you guys want to do a little different, that's okay. You know, you got to... Spread it out so you know you're not doesn't look like you're just reusing parts. But I would have forgiven if they did reuse the parts and you know maybe tweak the paint a little bit. But it is what it is, right? And uh, yeah, I got this at Target for like 13 bucks, so you know it's not too bad. Just remember that what your old pal James says: when you're putting on a tail, put that in hot water, like this says in the NECA, so you don't break your joint. So there you go. That's for this Godzilla review, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see about maybe doing some more Godzilla figures down the line. Would love to get some more. I'd love to try to get you know a, a Mega Godzilla. Maybe down the line, I'll spend a few bucks and try that uh, Super Seven figure. Those Super Seven figures. The, I'm not too crazy about the price tag, but you know I'm kind of curious to see what they look like and how they compare. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And, you know, I'd love to see if they can come up with some more, uh, the, the more giant Godzilla figures. Uh, I know there's a movie coming out next year, so, you know, got, you know, they'll have some more figures of that. And, uh, I'd love to see what they have for, like, the Doho series coming out this year. I'd love to see a Mega Godzilla, for example, or, uh, or, like, uh, Kiryu or something. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, my name is James Sharmack. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you did like this video, give me a like, subscribe, whatever. If you like my Godzilla videos, let me know which one's your favorite. If you haven't seen a Godzilla figure in my reviews, let me know. If you want to see one, let me see if I can get find one, and we'll uh, see if about doing a review. Anyways, thank you guys once again, and uh, as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.